Welcome to this lesson on similar triangles. In this lesson, I'll go over the introduction to similar triangles and the similar triangles notes continued. So let's go ahead and go over some vocabulary. So similar means the same shape, but a different size. And the symbol for similar looks like this. So similar triangles are triangles that have three pairs of congruent corresponding angles and three pairs of proportional corresponding sides. And remember, corresponding means in the same position. And proportional means the sides will have the same ratio. So let's look at what that actually means. So below you have an example of two similar triangles. So corresponding angles are congruent. So for example, angle B and angle E, they're in the same position and they have the same angle measure, so they are congruent in measure. Same thing for the other corresponding angles, angle A and angle D, and then angle C and angle F. So similar triangles have corresponding congruent angles. Similar triangles have proportional corresponding sides. So proportional means they will have the same ratio. If you remember from dilations, a, a ratio is kind of like a scale factor. So for example, if I take side AB and I divide it by side DE, which is what this is saying right here, I'm forming a ratio, a fraction. So that would be 8 over 4. That should be congruent to side BC, which is 6, over side EF, which is 3. And that should also be congruent to side CA, which is 11, over side FD, which is 5.5. So all of these ratios should be equal. And if we divide them, we will get the same answer. So 8 divided by 4, that's 2. 6 divided by 3 is 2. 11 divided by 5.5 is 2. So because they have the same ratio, they are proportional sides. So therefore, triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. All right, let's go over some examples. So in the first example, it tells us that the triangles are similar. Triangle JKA is similar to triangle MNO. And we want to find all missing sides and angles. So let's start with angles first because we know corresponding angles are congruent. So we already have J and M given to us. They're both 75 degrees. Angle K would correspond with angle N, so they are both 60 degrees. We're not given the third angle, but we know that the three angles in a triangle sum to 180. They add to equal 180, so I can add 75 plus 60, which gives me 135. And then I can subtract that from 180. And that will give me 45. So these angles are 45 degrees. For the sides, we know the sides are proportional. That means they're all going to have the same ratio. So I do have one pair of corresponding sides given to me, J, L, and M, O. And the ratio would be 3. 9 divided by 3 is 3. So from the big triangle to the small triangle, the ratio is 3. So that means I should be able to do the same thing with 6 divided by 3, and that gives me 2, which would go here. They correspond. Now, if I'm going from the small triangle back to the big triangle, I'm going to multiply instead of divide because I'm getting bigger. So instead of dividing by 3, I'm going to multiply by 3, 1 times 3, and that would give me 3. All right, in example number 2, it tells us that the triangles are similar. We don't have a picture here, but we can use the similarity statement, which is this right here, to answer these questions. So because the triangles are similar, we know that corresponding angles are equal. So angle Q is congruent to angle X. 
angle Y would be congruent to angle R. And then RSQ would be congruent to angle YZX. All right, and then the sides, they're not equal, so we're not going to write congruent statements. We're going to make ratios with the sides. So QR would correspond with side XY, RS with YZ, and SQ with ZX, saying all the sides are proportional. All right, let's continue on. So you do not have to know all six pieces of each triangle, the three angles and the three sides, to prove they are similar. There are shortcuts to prove triangles are similar. Just like with congruent triangles, there are shortcuts for similar as well. So the first one is side, 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 and a lot of times you'll see it written like this, side, 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 similarity. That way we won't get it confused with side, side, side for congruent triangles. And this means that all three pairs of sides are proportional. Meaning we can create ratios with the corresponding sides. So for example, 10 and 5, 12 and 6, 8 and 4. And all three of those ratios should be equal. And they are. Those all reduced to 2. So these sides are all proportional. And that's enough to prove that the triangles are similar. Even though we don't know any angles, that's okay. The next one is side angle side. And that's where two pairs of sides are proportional. And the angle in between the two proportional sides are congruent. So we have 9 and 6, and then 6 and 4. Now these are not going to reduce to a whole number. You can divide them in your calculator. You get 1.5 and 1.5. So the sides are proportional, and then you have an angle in the middle. So this would be side angle side similarity. All right, and then the last one is angle angle, and that's where you have two pairs of angles that are congruent or equal. So these are equal, these are equal. That's enough to prove that the triangles are similar. You may see it written like this. Sometimes you'll see angle 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 or angle 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 similarity. And that's because if two angles are congruent, all three will actually be congruent because the three angles in a triangle add to 180. All right, so let's try some examples. So number one, are the triangles similar? And if so, how? Well, we have two pairs of congruent corresponding angles. So that would be a yes. These are similar by angle angle similarity. Number two, are the triangles similar? And if so, how? Well, we have sides here, so we need to check to see if the sides are proportional. So you need to divide the sides, create ratios with the sides. I always like to match the smallest number with the smallest number, so 7 over 5.25. And I'm going to divide that, and I get 1.3 repeating. Then I'm going to take the middle side, divide it by the middle side. And I get 1.3 repeating again. And then the longest side divided by the longest side. And again, I get 1.3 repeating. I'm just dividing these in my calculator. So because all the sides form the same ratio, that means they are proportional. So that would be yes by side, side, side similarity. All right, you can go ahead and stop the video now and complete the practice and check it with your teacher.